What's up, all of five, my penguins? Welcome back to my YouTube experience. Today is a very iconic hot Lanta day. It is why I moved here from New York to experience the heat. That reminded me of Israel. Here we are, Georgia, on my mind. Today we've got a fun class planned for you beautiful people. Three moves came to me this weekend. Just a thing, just a thing, kind of like boring gong, boring qigong. It's totally boring, totally simplified. Totally is what it is. Ooh, ooh, is my chat box ac actually working today? Thanks for the thumbs up. Did I say that already? Oh my gosh. The universe is out to love me and all of you. Here we are. Shall I invite people personally to class? Maybe I will get this class move in. Anyone who's here, if you'd like to invite your friends, invite other people, please go ahead and invite the whole entire multiverse because the multiverse is out to love you. Just so you know. I saw a very weird worm outside just now. Kind of looked like a copperhead, but it was not a copperhead. It was not a snake, it was a worm. It was sluggish, but it had stripes and it had one of those fan heads. It, what is that? Anyone that didn't have time to Google it before I started class today. Anyway. Oh, I feel a little heebie-jeebies from it. But um, sorry, I know I know some people are triggered by uh, gross things like that. So here we are. I'm inviting you. Uh, yeah. Um, pay attention to your breath and your heartbeat. All right, pay attention to that heartbeat, come on. Come on, you could do it. Yeah, that heartbeat, notice it. Notice that zone. zone that you're in. Notice your heartbeat. Notice your respiration. Your respiration. Do you have any respiration? I really hope so. Perhaps you need to rake the heart a little bit to wake it up. There goes a sip of my lion's mane matcha, which is cold. I will heat it up. Keep on paying attention to your breath and your heart beats. I demand it. Perhaps we will use these bath bombs that my friend Ashley gave me as teaching props. Heart chakra. Notice your heartbeat. Notice how your voice feels. Notice how your third eye feels. Mm. 
What do you need today, my friends, to feel optimum health and flow? Notice your breath. Notice your shoulders. Notice what your intentions are for the day and share them when you are ready. All of five, y'all. My name is Aviva. My intention is to be here for you strongly and nicely and to share this new technique called three moves and be productive all week long in a very peaceful, groovy way and a boring way too, of course. Patrick Z. Murphy says, Salutations. My intention for today is to be present and return to class mindfully with a bit of focus, focus on the knees, if you please. And thank you. Jabri says, My intention is to share my energy and being with you today. And I would like to focus on my hands and feet today. And I've been using my magic gem. Now, Patrick, is the knees for you or your mother? Just curious, because it might be a different approach. Uh, Jabri also says he shared the link. <laughs> give him a hand, give him a hand. Thank you, thank you, man. All right. Let's breathe in our intentions. Release anything in the way. <sighs> Breathe in your intentions. Release resistance. <sighs> Breathe in your intentions. Release anything you don't need. Oh. We're gonna start with waking up our beautiful hearts. So is your mother here with us today? Can I say hi, Mrs. Murphy? We awaken up the blossoms of our hearts. Well, this is not PT, this is Qigong. But okay, we'll do, we'll do something. Cool, 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 cool. So she'll watch, she'll watch the actual video. Okay, good, 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 good. We've got neck pain that we're dealing with today. We've got knee pain that we're dealing with today. We've got, we've got hands and feet today. And our lotus flowers of our hearts are blooming. Okay. We are going to start right in with three move Qigong. Now the concept of this, you can definitely apply to any of the intentions that you spoke about today. Okay, beautiful penguins. The concept is that you just do three moves for anything. Okay, so we're going to start with our hearts. 
we're gonna go one, two, three. And we do the three moves nine times. One, two, Okay, another move for the heart. We're gonna do three moves for each. Out, in, out. Nice and slow. If this is boring, you're doing it right. If it's exciting, you're also doing it right. All right, more heart energy. One, two, three, and then the other way. Beautiful people, neck time. One, two, three. You can sit or stand. You can even lie down. The light's too bright on the computer.
we're going to do grabs. Take out that negative energy, pour it on the ground. Three grabs. Now, a lot of neck tension is caused by like that open heart to be like closed into like, because can't even like, get love in there. It's so tight. So. And then there's like a hunch, a little bit of a hunch sometimes, you know? You ever see people walking around like, Closing their neck, shoulders up, closing their heart. Can't get any of that love, universal love in there. So we're going to lift the arms up. Rib cage lifts. Gently bring the arms down. Arms out. We're going to do one, two, three. Nice and gentle. One, two. So you're going back first. like a clavicle issue, I mean a trapezius issue, both, okay? So we're gonna do two more moves for the trapezius, clavicle area, front and back, clavicle, trapezius. I guess I should really just say trapezius. We are trapezius, flying trapezius dancers. Um, one more for the neck, two more for the trapeziuses. Drop easy, are you? Um, neck. Directions. Circle forward and back. That's one move. So it's really six moves, but you know. Thanks everyone for being here. Okay, we're going to clasp our hands behind our back like this. And we're just going to bring it up, down, down, up, down, down. Nice and cheerful. Are you being cheerful today? 
cheerful, cheerful. And now we're just going to hold it back and pump it up, two, three, relax, up, two. Actually, we'll just do one, two, relax. It's intense. That's the three moves. Okay, now, arms out, and we're just gonna go one, two, two, one, two, Thank you again for the thumbs up. Helps to bring people here. Beautiful. We're gonna do the face and then the hands. We're gonna do a smile like this. And then all to go. So a smile and then further and then tight. All right, we did a little bit more than nine, but that's okay. Back to the shoulders. One, two, relax. Do that a little more cheerful, cheerfully. Up a little, up a little further, and relax. Other side. And count in with this hand. Hmm. 
<sighs> when in doubt, just do three moves. Down is I call this one the elephant trunk. It might be easier just standing. Just sway the left and then open and then forward again. Other side. Okay, very good work, very good work, everyone. Your commitment to Qigong is beneficial. Good job. A lot of people sit there and they want to do things and then they just don't. Half bath. All right, speaking of high five, our hands. One. Two. Just relaxing the hands relaxes the whole body. If you're standing, make sure your knees are a little bit bent so your energy is still flowing.
All right, another move for the hands. Um, one, two, Close tightly, bend. Do one hand at a time. In, out, in. Nice and slow. Okay. Little wobbles. One, two, three. Feel it. Just 
to oh, to the right. Other direction, please. Let's go to our needs. I mean our knees. Okay. There's my knee. You can't see it in the screen. Pretend that's my knee. I'm just going one, two, three. Both knees. On the top. Relax your feet on the ground if you're sitting. I'm not actually touching the knees. You can be as, as as far away as you want, as long as you feel that she you can be close or far. Now the insides of the knee. So if that's your knee, you're gonna go like that. On both sides. So from in to out. Just keep visualizing my studio getting more funding so that you can see what I'm doing out of the screen so I have a bigger studio. If you'd like to donate, there's a little money symbol under the chat box that you can press and make a small donation if you wish. I am going to upload a video on how how to do that this week. You can also become a Patreon supporter. Patreon supporter, it's linked usually in my videos in the description. It's just patreon.com slash AATFP. Um, and you get little stories, you know, that are only available to the Patreons. Like I just did a little Reveal on how I filmed the Chicago video. Chicago, avocado, chicada. All right, now from the outside in on the knees. That on that side, like that on that side. See, I'm not touching the knee, I'm just 
feeling the energy. Loosen up those fingers. I might do some recipes and stuff like that. And all you gotta do is, even if you just pay $1 a month, you have access to all of my Patreon-only material. I might post some of my favorite things like music and whatnot, food. Now under the knee, so you're just gonna do little taps just under the knee, the back of the knee, not touching the knee, both hands, both sides. And when you do it, it's like one, two, three, and just let it float back with the chi. And you go in again, before you go in again. Try to feel that chi energy. Good. Now let me take a break and explain something here. Do your knees not feel amazing right now? Oh my gosh. Okay. So the reason why Qigong works, the reason why this Chinese medical Qigong works is by the concept of our energy flowing within our body which gets constricted and stops the flow of energy to certain parts of our body. So when we open up that flow, then we get the circulation, the nutrients, the processing that that part of the body needs. So let's say we use conventional medicine, which is a wonderful thing as well. And we get, um, some kind of uh, an operation on our hip, on our knees, on our shoulders. Well, that sometimes is necessary, but it doesn't fix if you have energy flow issues. So, because there's energy flow issues to begin with, according to the Chinese philosophy, Qigong philosophy, then it could actually make things worse when you do a surgery in the long run, depending on who you are. So if you can fix it energetically, then you're fixing the whole car, the whole engine system, not just one part. Because we all know a car is considered total if there's certain energy flow limited in the car. It doesn't matter anymore if the parts are bad. All right, so we're gonna do one more thing for the knees and then we're gonna move on to our wujigang. We're just gonna circle on the outside of the knees like that and then the other direction. And that counts as one, good. Now, another thing is that 
a lot of time our knee issues, according to Chinese medicine, has something to do with our kidneys. Notice the word knees and kidneys not functioning the best that they can. So if you eat a lot of sugar, if you have a lot of coffee, you know, like that all stresses out the kidneys. So just doing something like that might actually help your knees. And I wish health insurance covered this, but there's also something called earthing mats, which you can invest less than $100. And that pulls the free radicals out of the body and helps with overall energy flow. So I highly recommend earthing before any kind of intrusive or invasive procedure. It could blow you away and fix that energy flow. So if you pee a lot, that could be kidney issues. There's a lot of things you can look at and see, well, do I have kidney issues? If I have knee issues, bladder issues, am I peeing a lot? Do I have lower back pain too? All right, beautiful penguins. Well, you're welcome to touch your knees a little bit, just, you know, gently over the skin, just feel the energy flowing. Oftentimes I feel like the skin feels softer when we get the energy flowing. And it feels softer when you don't drink coffee too, because coffee dehydrates you. And this is like the first day I haven't had coffee in a really long time because I've been hooked on coffee because it helps me focus. But you know what? Focus, focus, focus. I got my cheek. I like my body being hydrated and soft. All right, beautiful people. I need to move things out of the way. It's very cramped space, which your donations will help with. No pressure, though. I really appreciate sharing this knowledge with people for free because it's important you have access to your own energy. It's not your fault you did not learn this in school growing up. Feet shoulder width apart. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a little bit of a foot exercise while we're standing. We're going to do more at the end. We're just going to lift the toes up twice and then drop. Those are our three moves, okay? Knees bent. Lift the toes, lift the toes, and drop. Lift the toes, lift the toes, and drop. Relax the arms up. Lift the toes, lift the toes, and drop. Keep your chest lifted. Lift the toes, lift the toes and draw. 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 Lift the one more time. Lift the toes, lift the toes, and drop. Here we go. Wooji go. Knees bent. Feet shoulder width apart. I hope you enjoyed the three move qigong technique. We might do more of it, especially if you request it. And that is just a wonderful way to look at practicing qigong. If you don't feel like doing a whole form, if you don't even remember any of the moves, just think, I'm just going to create three different movements. One, two, three, and do that nine times. Okay, right hand for women, left for men, goes under the belly button. Okay, got two fingers below, and two fingers on top is where the other hand goes. Okay, feet shoulder width apart, press into the belly just slightly, and then you're going to do a little. Suddenly craving biscuits, but not gravy. All right. Up and down. Knees are bent up and down. Shoulders are going up and down as well. 
I see you out there being all bored. I see all you bored people out there. And that's okay. Because it's so exciting to be boring. Oh my gosh, am I actually under stimulated while I am being alive? That might be a good thing. It means I got less to process. I'm being plain Jane, not Mary Lou. What are you talking about, Jabri? I am plain Jane right now. I got no makeup. I got no wig. I'm doing boring Qigong. I am plain Jane. <laughs> but my eyes are getting stimulated by the light. Okay. Keep on shaking in the plain Jane way. Keep on shaking. Take the plain our way. <laughs> One of the reasons why babies are so healing for humanity is they feel their feelings. You might be like, oh, just be quiet already. But you know in your heart that you have that same pain and you just want to go, Wah! Wah! every time you have to go to the bathroom because it feels weird. Okay, just kidding about that. But. You know what I mean. You got to feel your feelings like plain Jane does. Yes, I do. I feel my plain, plain, plain feelings. I'm plain Jane and I feel my feelings very plainly. That's a plain Jane, Jane expression of anger. All right. Hands out the bottom hands. Face up like you're conducting so much berries and more berries for the pulling from the trees. The other one's down like that, so you're picking up something from the ground and you're shaking. Shaking like shaking back. Shaking like plain Jane. Ah, I'm plain Jane and I'm shaking. In a very boring way. There's nothing exciting about this except that I'll be able to feel hormonally in, in balance because I'm so plain and boring. Do you know that you are just so plainly beautiful? I just remembered something, but I don't think I should share it publicly. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Come to stillness, even though you are absolutely never still. So you're lying to yourself if you think you're still. Still, you're going to be still. Relax your shoulders. I know, it's not as easy as I say. Just like when someone says breathe, you just want to pop them on the head. <sighs> Sometimes when you're upset. All right, feel the shoulders relax. Relax the left shoulder down and just let it bounce back up in a very plain way. And the right shoulder down and up. Back and forth. Open up the space in those ears, between the ears and the shoulders. It's a very boring space that needs to be preserved. Otherwise, it gets too cluttered. It's my friend Larry. He's carrying his heart to the whole world. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Kirby Kirby. 
feel your chi? Do you feel your chi today, Larry? It's a very plain Jane epiphany, and it's so important for our Mary Janes to be plain Janes too. Because if we're too sparkly and glittery, well, we might distract people from, I don't know, from their own chi. We want everyone to be cheerful. Guess what? We're about to go on to the next move. And this part of the form is called what, Plain Jane? This part of the form is called Collecting Spirit from Heaven. That's right. Roll that left shoulder back three times. Very plainly. Don't get fancy out there. I don't want to see any fancy moves. Other side. One. And flurry. And the left side again. Oh my God, I got another thumbs up. This is my lucky day. Thank you, y'all. I appreciate you. Plain Jane, here to say, what's the big deal? It's just a thumbs up. It's a nice, plain thumbs up. And actually, yes, I do appreciate it. Other side. Just like I appreciate when people clean up after themselves. It's just a plain Boring thing to do, but it's a beautiful thing to do. Guess what? It's not trending to do these moves because it's so plain Jane, and that is awesome. It's so awesome. It's the best thing since sliced bread, which is also not plain enough. You know what would be plainer and chainer? Not sliced bread. You get me? One more time on each side. I gotta do a little wobbling, which is not the official wobble move, but I just feel it in my body. That's when you know you're being plain enough, when you just start wobbling. Stop, I don't want you to move your shoulder, I wanna keep wobbling, okay. So you all can go ahead and move the other shoulder if you're ready, if you're not being wobbled. Now we're going to plainly do both at the same time. That's right. And then we're going to anoint our plainness with Janeness, whatever that means. Just keep it plain, Jabri, so you can say, the plain, the plain. Hands out and gently come down. Around and around. Keep it plain, keep it plain. I know, keep it plain. <sighs> Grandmaster Fu, we thank you for this Wujigang that you have passed down your whole life.
Grandma Stapu was doing acupuncture before he was 10 years old. That's how they do it. The master is teaching their skill to their pupils. It's very plain and simple. Guess what? We're gonna come up halfway and reverse directions. Are you ready? This is not plain Jane. Bring the hands above the head, the yin hand first, the planar hand first, and another hand on top of that, the more exciting one. And feel that light coming into the body from above. Sorry, I didn't catch you. I didn't want to stop my arms, move my arms. Thanks for the thumbs up, I appreciate you. And over your throat. And over your heart. And over your tummy. Doesn't she feel so good? So yummy and tasty too.
in its plainness. Now the question is, what am I? What am I now? I am a Chicago. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, okay, go to our feet now. The next part of the form is called what, plain Jane? Uh, it's called uh, absorbing the energy from the earth. Very correct. Okay, bring the left heel up, bending both knees. <sighs> Allow the arms to come to the sides, relax the fingers, and rotate that left knee towards the right. Stop moving your head, Aviva, around so much. Keep it more plain. Okay. <laughs> the other direction, beautiful souls. Okay, left heel down, right heel up, lift the right heel. Now I do have videos where you see my whole body doing the Qigong form, the Wu Qigong, which is what I'm doing. So feel free to just, you know, look at all those videos and find it so you can actually see my whole body doing it so you know if you're confused about what I'm doing with my legs right now. And the other direction, please. We're probably gonna go slightly later than three today because I started later and I really wanna do the whole Wuji Gong form. But Wuji Gong can be 10 minutes long depending on how fast we do it. So we might finish. But the actual Wuji is five minutes. We might not do the Wuji. All right, feet together, knees together. Bend those knees, relax the pelvis, a little tiny circle to the left. The other direction. Mm. Okay, open up. And you're about shoulder width apart with the feet again. So look at your shoulders in the mirror. Feet shoulder width apart and gently go to the right and then the left. Just gently sway back and forth. Now keep those heels on the ground. A lot of people tend to want to lift a foot when they go to one side. Not that high, but keep them on the ground. Be plain like Jane. That's right. Be like me, plain Jane. Just keep those plain feet possibly not even pedicured unless it's in a plain way. On the ground, y'all. Plain Jane has not experienced much character development. She's particularly plain about that too.
Come to stillness. Plainly feel the Earth's energy connecting to you. Okay, bring your hands up under your belly button, about two fists away from the body. Okay, bend the knees and gently rotate the pelvis to the left, following with this hands like you're holding a small ball of chi energy. Plain and simple, people. Just hold the chi ball. Don't drop it. In the other direction, please, amigos. A derecha. I psychically stopped someone from whistling at me the other day. I felt the energy. I felt like it was about to happen and I psychically sent the message, don't do it. And I looked and they looked at me and they didn't for daytime. You have the power through chi. All right, people, this is my least favorite move to do in this space, but it's one of my favorite moves. But I'm going to have to get off the camera to fit. All right, open up your legs as wide as two of your shoulder widths. Bend the knees and relax over. Don't mind me, I am on a no coffee high. I detoxed all day yesterday with a headache. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the thumbs up. All right, now reach across the body.
It's now time for the Wuji Gun. So for a couple of minutes, we're just gonna do the Wuji. Do whatever you want, just let the energy flow. I'm okay. I did that on purpose. One more minute. We're going to do the feet. Let's stay later and do the feet. We've only done an hour and 18 minutes of class. The goal is an hour and a half. We're doing the Wuji Gong now for a couple more minutes. Feeling our Wuji. Now, besides the YouTube money machine, <laughs> we have Zelle Pay, which is a great way to tip me as well for class if you want to. And PayPal. Both are with my email, which is my band's name, Aviva and the Flying Penguins, the, not the, at yahoo.com. Thirty more seconds. As you contemplate about giving me money for class, I also want you to contemplate a world without money at all. What would that feel like? What would that look like? All right. Any questions or anything you uh, need as we begin to do our foot? Foot. Cool down. Stay hydrated, my friends. That's a foot. Now this right here is the kidney one point. So you might want to stimulate that if you want some kidney energy or knee energy. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take one of our feet, any of our feet, hopefully the one that hurts less, because you don't want pain, and when you work on the part of the body that has less pain first, so like if you have right knee pain, work on the left knee first, if you're doing something in order. I'll explain that another time. All right, rotate each toe a few times in each direction. There's our three moves, Qigong, right? Pull the toe. 
away from the foot. What would a world without money look like? What would it feel like? Would it work? Does money create problems in this world? Are we going to dissect this concept? Does it create greed in certain ways? Oh my God. My feet are dry. That's nice and exciting instead of plain drain, drain, smooth. All right, rotate the whole entire foot in each direction. Pull the toes back and rub the bottoms of the feet. And then rub between the toes. Now we're going to find a point on the bottom of the foot that um, is like a trigger point or like where energy is stuck and hold that for 20 seconds. I appreciate the blessings, Jabri. It is a blessing. Tim, nah, I hate to six. All right. And there's a point under the knee, about two or three fingers below. That is beautiful, Jabri. For you to see it as a blessing. I think heals the concept of greed being connected to money. I love that. On the outside of the knee, a few fingers above it, find another pressure point, hold that gently for 20 seconds. 16, 15. I love that. And you're just sending me pictures of bunnies, little. Blessings on you. That feels more like reality to me. Blessings. So how do we bless each other in other ways besides money? We can pray for each other. Send each other good energy, good thoughts. Now we're getting somewhere, right? What else besides money is a blessing? Gifts. Rotate each toe a few times in each direction. <laughs> as long as it's consensual, that is definitely a blessing. Very basic, plain Jane, beautiful blessing. <laughs> now rotate the whole entire you know what else is a blessing peace the world being more at peace is a blessing bring the toes back and rub the bottom of the feet Hopefully they're not as dry as mine. And rub between the toes. And around the ankles. Now find that point on the bottom of the foot or anywhere on the foot that feels like it is a stuck energy point and hold that for 20 seconds. Hmm. Mary Lou is a blessing. Feeling good is a blessing. Eating well is a blessing. So many blessings. Having shelter is a blessing. Sharing creativity is a blessing. 
All right. Under the knees. A few fingers below. There's a little pressure point there. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. It's a blessing to have a purpose. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The outside of the neck. We're done. We're done. Any questions, you can comment below with any questions. I will put PayPal info. One time I spelled it right, and someone was like, I can't donate to you. I'm like, oops, sorry, there is an L before the Y in flying. All right, let's stand up. Optional bow. Thank you, all the lineage holders. Thank you to all the teachers. And we fill our hearts with gratitude and compassion and we hug the whole world. Mm-hmm. <laughs>